Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In this video, we're going to continue in our widget slide design process. From our previous video, we have learned to create two basic slides that include the main intro and some of the options that we're going to have and the uh, slide options. So uh, we're going to continue by uh, enabling the animation that we created for this slide in the previous video and also activating the, uh, the option for the next slide or the third slide to change the resolution of the interface. Okay, so I'm gonna double click on the selection menu. And the first thing we need to do is to give these buttons a proper name because last time we did not do that. So I'm gonna just name them according to their uh, function name. Uh, this is gonna be the renders and the cinematic. And also the walkthrough. Okay, so now that we have created an animation for these buttons, we need to activate the animation to be able to see it once the, the third slide comes. So let's go to the graph and in the event construct, I'm gonna drag a node called play animation. And if we look on the left side, we're gonna see that the, we have an animation variable here. And we're gonna drag here, it's called the button slide from up, and connect this to the animation, and keep it as it is as a play mode forward. You can change this, but for our case now, we need it as a forward animation. And I'm gonna compile this, and let's give this a test and see what's gonna happen. So if we enable uh, the standalone uh, review, A second now okay so as you can see the animation started and the buttons comes from the above the slide okay so let's create a third uh, slide but the easiest way to do this is to select for example the next one and control W to duplicate it and call this resolution option slide Okay, so basically we need to enable uh, to uh, create three uh, options for the resolution. That's going to be um, 90 to 20 by 1080 and the other two 2080. So I'm going to just delete these buttons and get to this one here, for example, and call this, for example, um, 1920 by 1080 and write it down here 1920 by 1080 and let's increase the size a little bit okay let's make an another two copies of this one I'm just going to right click paste and change this to 1080 so basically we're gonna give uh, the option of changing the resolution so anyone who's viewing this for example on a different screen size can be able also to adjust uh, the screen uh, the, their uh, preview device and this one also put it over here and let's put this as 640 480. Copy this and paste it in the text. This one. So. Okay, so now we have three different uh, option of resolution and the next thing we're gonna do is to enable the function for each button of them. So I'm gonna choose the first one and go here if you find the on clicked, click on it. I'm gonna call a node called again uh, execute console command so console and we're gonna write this command set res and let's name the resolution that's gonna be like 1920 by 1080 and I'm gonna duplicate this once I get the other buttons also uh, unclicked like this 
name this 2080 my channel 20 the last button and again duplicate this connect it change the resolution 6 640 by 480 okay and the last thing we need to do is our back button here that uh, we have uh, duplicated from um, a previous slide we need just to change the widget that we need to move back to it's going to be the selection menu so i'm going to compile let's give it a try okay so if we test now the option we can now adjust the resolution to the smallest or to the highest uh, one we have so another button that we can add here for example is in the option menu is to quit uh, the, the game so i'm just gonna open again the resolution option slide and copy this and paste it over here for example and name this as the quit button and change the text to quit here also actually it's only you can change it here only so i'm gonna press the button and go to the unclipped event and there's a, an easy note called uh, quit game and then compile and let's try it one more time okay So again, options, resolution, and if we go back, we can go back to the previous slide, or if we quit, to quit uh, the presentation. So this is basically now uh, what we have um, in this video for the selection menu for the option, and the next one we're gonna also start for uh, the renders, and hopefully this was uh, clear enough for you. So see you in the next video and thank you very much.